Alrighty, so for hole number 10, we're gonna once again go with the katana and the quarterback, setting ourselves up for that fantastic rough bump funnel shot with the thorn. We're gonna play this shot here with this wind angle at 10% max numbers, power two. And so we're gonna do max top, which is 3.8 and then three to the right using my quarterback here. But don't go more than four top if you can. Shot. Just don't come up here nicely. You want to be right around 324, 325, maybe 26, somewhere in that range. Perfect. Let's get that eagle. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys are starting to get good at this shot, just like me. We're going to come in here, and if you notice, I'm actually playing this live because I hit a great left uh, in practice mode, but yet it still went in, so I wanted to show you a perfect shot. Uh, so I just played it going with my yellow ring right up by the rough line, trying to find the proper wiggle spot. And it doesn't matter, this, this is a huge funnel, so just trying to make sure your ball guide is going through the hole. That's the most important thing. I ended up with my red ring right at the edge of the rough, and I adjusted here at 0% mid numbers. Hit perfect. perfect shot. And let's go. Uh, Don't forget everybody to smash that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up eagle. if you like this video. Thank you. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so between me flipping a bird and then having to put it back in the oven, then we're going to um, try to eat eventually. But for right now, we're working on this shot. And if you notice, I'm gonna go one green square over to the right and four up. You can see I'm counting here. There's one, there's two, there's three, and it's the fourth green square, dark shadowy line thingy, whatever you wanna call it. That's where we're gonna go. All right. Now we're gonna make our adjustment at 5% mid or min, same thing as before. And it's just this is an awkward straight headwind. Took me forever to get figure this one out. Perfect shot! Comes in here nicely. Great. And there we go. That's time for dinner. Holy Happy one. Thanksgiving, everyone. Alrighty, so for hole number 12, we're gonna go with a Zerk here, and we're gonna try to blast this down to that, I guess you can call it second fairway. A max top, which is six top with this club, and two to the left. We're gonna make our adjustment here at 0% max. Um, so we're gonna do our adjustment, and then I'm gonna make sure I pushed up to max here, just to be, make, just to be safe. Then I'm doing five rings of OP here. And I'll zoom in and show you what that looks like. All perfect right. shot! We do hit perfect. Because we're looking for that bounce to not hit, to hit the rough. We want to go and bounce just before that rough and clear it. Perfect. 414 is what we're looking for. Perfect drive. Now, for the approach shot here, we're doing the same thing we did in the front nine, which would be hole number three, if we did not hit the rough. It's gonna to be 2.2 top, 0% mid numbers is what we're gonna play here. Make sure your yellow ring, or your inner green ring, I mean, is all the way up on that rough line, and your ball guide is on the right side of the pin here. We're gonna make this adjustment 0% mid numbers, like I said, and then hit perfect. And I guess there's a little funnel here because this is a very consistent drop for the albatross. Perfect shot. Comes right up and boom, right in. I'll take it. 
take it. Albatross! Alrighty, so for hole number 13, we get a headwind, which makes this a little more challenging. So we're gonna go with max top and three to the right. And we're gonna back up just a little bit so we can make our adjustment here. Um, see, I went from the 16 down to the 15. I'm making sure my ball guide is going to the corner of that bunker. My wind is only 1.9, which is the lowest wind you can get. And so I have to adjust one ring, even though I went into overpower just a little bit, I'm gonna do just a dash of overpower here, literally a half a ring of OP. And gotta hit perfect here. Perfect shot! This is all about where that ball guide is. So don't worry about where your rings are on the fringe or on the rough area. Make sure your ball guide is aimed at the corner. So you get a good drive like this coming out to 352. Good drive. I'll take that in headwind. Alrighty, so with that long drive at 352, we're gonna definitely have to measure and make sure we check our club distance because we're gonna be close to max here. So we are right around 90% club. So this is a difficult rapier shot. We're gonna do this at 10% mid numbers, set our slider up to 90 if you see that on your, if it looks just like that where you, where you push up and you see um, where your ball guide sits, all right. Um, make our adjustment at 10% mid numbers, which was 1.8 for me here. And then you have to hit perfect with a rapier. If you don't, you're gonna miss. Pretty simple. You hit perfect, it's gonna go. Perfect shot. Alrighty, let's move on. Eagle. Alrighty, so for number 14, we're getting through these holes slowly but surely. We're gonna go five top, three to the left. All right, uh, we're gonna play a no moving target again like we've done in the previous rounds and just make our adjustment at 10%. And then we're gonna do the full curl to the left. Once again, thank you everybody for uh, hanging in with me today Perfect happy thanksgiving shot. to everybody and i will be doing videos for the weekend rounds uh if needed i'm not sure what david's plans are but hopefully you guys are following and doing well let me know in the comments how you're doing up to this point Alrighty, so in the opening round the, the uh, whole five we played this at 10 percent max now we're gonna play this at minus 10% and see if we come up with a better result here. Uh, I ended up going with two top, three to the right, and I had to find my landing position. Remember, this is not a easy drop here, it's a bonus. Uh, I don't think I've ever made this shot. So um, it's a very hard, difficult shot to try to dial in. So we're just gonna take our safe eagle and move on. I'm gonna make my adjustment here at minus 10% max and pray for the best. And hopefully I don't go flying down the green and into the rough. Perfect shot. And look, oh, look at that. Nice, smooth, right up next to the hole. I'll take that. Nice on. Alrighty, moving on. Alrighty, so for hole number 15, we're gonna stick with that consistent rough bump we've been having such great success with. Um, we're gonna come up here with, we're gonna line up our ball guide going to the hole, no spin at all. We're gonna play this at 25% minimum, and I'm pushing my green ring up to the uh, rough line here. You'll see right there, 
and I'm lined up just favoring the left hand side of the cup. I know the wind is coming to the left, but that's okay. It's the way this, this bounces. I have no idea why it's going there, but it works. I'll take it. We make our adjustment, come in here and hit perfect. Perfect shot. Sounds good to me. And let's go. Rolls up nicely. Cuddles in right on that side. Perfect shot. I'll take it all day long. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so for hole number 16, we are going to take that same path, which is across this giant lake here, and we're gonna do that rough bump up onto the green. Now we just need to get anywhere in the green slash fringe area here. I went with three top and two to the left, and then I realized, oh wait, I think I need to watch my ball guide, so I went to four and a half top, and I made my adjustment at 10% which I don't think you need four and a half. I think you should just do four. You'll be fine with that. I ended up rolling pretty high up on the back side of the, that back fairway past the fringe, but still an easy chip in. No big deal. Perfect shot. Do whatever you feel comfortable with doing. You're going to do about one to one and a half rings of OP and then came in nicely on the back fringe here and easy chip in for the Eagle. Alrighty guys, so for hole number 17, we're gonna do the rough bump. And uh, this shot has worked pretty well. It took me a little while to get this one dialed in because the elevation was wonky on this wind angle. I'm gonna come in here, I'm trying to find that ball guide going straight to where I want it to go, just off to the left-hand side of the cup there. Uh, at the bottom of the plus three, it looks like we're gonna be, actually it's a, yeah, right at the well, top of the plus two, right there. Uh, it's gonna end up being right at that point. We're gonna do half top and half to the left of a bar each. And then that's what your ball guy's gonna look like after you add your spin. This is a go big or go home because if you miss this hole in one, you possibly could roll down the hill, which makes it difficult to make that putt. So make sure you practice this one. We're gonna take this shot at minus 10% max. Perfect shot. Hit perfect. Comes right up here, hits the rough, bounce right out, and in the hole, center put. Dig it. Hole Last hole one. coming up. Alrighty, guys, for the final hole of the opening round, we're going to do six top two to the left, but we're gonna move our red ring up a little bit higher than what we normally would do. Uh, we were going a little bit along the left-hand side rough there. Now we're gonna go a little bit above. And of course my dog wants to start crying now. Uh, we're gonna play this at 10% max, and we're looking for a drive around 353 is our goal here. Just hit it straight down, don't do anything fancy. Big shot. If we get the right drive, we know we can get the albatross drop easily. Alrighty. What do we get? We can see that's close enough. I'm good with that. Alrighty, so for this approach shot, we're gonna play this as we've always done. We're gonna do two back, 0.5 to the left at 0% max with this wind angle, because we know it's gonna push a little bit, so we don't need the extra 10%. Uh, we're gonna aim right at the flag stick here and um, make our adjustment. I will post my scorecard for this round at the end of the video here, so stick around and see how I ended up doing in my live shots. Not the practice shots, but the live, the actual round. 
Alrighty, there we go. And it looks good to me. I'll take that. Uh, see you guys on uh, Saturday. <laughs>